What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks, this is uh, Mr. Warmack back in the building. And uh, today I got another topic, another head scratcher for people that understand this. Uh, there was a question about... Uh, Obama made claims about we're better off now than what we were before, like as far as the state of black America. A lot of black folks left their heads scratching like this. Here it comes pretty soon. Now, me personally, look at the, look at the thing on the bottom there. It says, like the rest of America, black America is better off. Now, I say that's a true statement. I say the economy is overall better. You, nobody's complaining about the price of gasoline. Your health care, its overall cost are lower. It hasn't been it's lowered. It hasn't been this low since the '80s. Or something. I think that's the stat I read. I'm not sure you have to look that up, but it's it's, it's been lowered than in before. The, the economy is rebounding, and I know uh, people don't want to give Barack Obama credit. No, but yes, his policies have had some effect. But the fact of the matter is, the economy is growing. But that's not my point. My point is, is black America better off? Yes, black America is better off. Now, I know I'm going to get these usual pan and skillet back to African Negroes, who's going to say, mention all the incidents that have been happening recently, and they're going to mention um, how white supremacy, this and that. Look, it's your fault. If you don't want to... You talk about, well, it's the system. Well, if, if you can't work within the system and don't want to learn this, that's your fault. If you can't comprehend, whose fault's that? Not every black person is sells out. Every, there's lots of black people who don't sell out. They just decide to work hard and get ignored. And look, man, you don't think I was called names by other races? fact of the matter is I have kids to feed. The fact of the matter is I want a successful life. The fact of the matter is I want things out to life. The fact of the matter is I want to do things in life. And like I said, if you look at the majority of people who are complaining about all this, look at their background, look at their past, look at, look at their failures, and look at their self-inflicted failures. A lot of these people are failures because they chose that lifestyle. A lot of them want to buy Jordans. The new J's just came out. How many of you parents stood in line for Jordans? Meanwhile, you could have got the Jordans probably at $100 off in the, in the next three months down the road. If you make good economic decisions with your money and you're not afraid to get out there and go for yours, yes, you're better off. If you don't want to do anything, if you want to lay around, if you want to collect government money, if you want to, if that's what you like, if that's what you choose to do, I'm not begrudging that. But it's you're better off if you don't want it. Who's fault is that? There are many government programs that will put you on the well, on the work rolls. Look, at, I mean, work work the welfare is one of the worst policies ever uh, to me. Because what happens is you put the worst people on welfare, the terrible ass workers, the ones who don't got a job, they're the ones who get the job. This ain't the, ain't the person who's been laid off for three years who actively wor looking for work. You don't want to use him. You want to know why? Because if you use him, you don't get to keep on your job. The case workers don't stay on their job because if everybody's not, if there's nobody on welfare, nobody has a job. But the fact remains is, black America is better off. There's there's many instances, I mean, if you look at, as far as the the new color is green. And people can get mad at that, but it, look at your life. Look what you do. There's, there's people who, who are successful in their life. And I don't begrudge nobody for being successful. If that's what they work for and that's what they want, go for it. That's what the American dream was all about. The, my point is... You can't, you can't blame others for wanting more out of life than what you do. If you don't want nothing out of life, that's cool. But don't get mad at other people because they want more things out of life. If you're not willing to get up and make sacrifices, which everybody else is prepared to make sacrifices for, you, it's your fault. If you went to bed hungry, it's your fault for going to sleep. You should never went to sleep to begin with. If you don't want nothing out of life, you know how to maneuver, how to work. If you're comfortable with the government roles, that's your fault. Because I'm tired of hearing all these excuses. Then when you look at their life and you see what happened, you're like, no, that's why they like the way they are. Because you messed up. 
And there's still time for people to do it, but they don't want to do it. The fact is, you either you, it, it boils down to this. You have to want it out of life. You have to want to do it. You have to want to get up and get some gumption. Get, get something. You have to go on, just do it, like Nike says. I mean, but yes, black America is better off. If you if you choose not to put your to spend your money wisely, if you want to buy a 50 million diamond rings and 50 million gold necklaces and you're broke tomorrow, whose fault's that? It's not mine, it's yours. So at the end of the proverbial dia, like, like he's saying right here, like the rest of America, quote, black America is better off, unquote. Hate it or love it, that's the fact for today. Peace.